is one of the most popular game engines out there, and we're here to find out why it's a good first step on your game making adventure. There are many game engines available, but whichever engine you decide to use, some of these principles will apply. I'm meeting Unity's community manager, Aurora Demopoulos. Hiya, nice to meet you. <laughs> She's going to tell me the very best way to begin with Unity and suggest the types of games you should start making first. So Unity is a game engine, but what is a game engine? A game engine is the software that studios use to create games. It drives everything from the physics to the animation to the graphics, all that sort of stuff, and you create your game inside that engine. So it's really sort of the heart and soul of making games. Mm -hmm. So what makes Unity a good place to start with making your first game? Unity is a great place to start because it's simple to use. We have a ton of learning tutorials. We have a really strong community that can help you out when you get stuck. We also have the asset store, so if you ever need some 3D models or some scripts, whether it's free or paid, you can download them. It was time to get a closer look at Unity and see what Unity's learning site has to offer our young game designers. So this is the asset store. This is where you can get some 3D models, some animation packs, some scripting packs. And is it possible to kind of download almost a full game so you can take a look at it and go, oh, and that's how they did that, or that's, and get, kind of get an idea of how to make your game? Yes, we've released a couple of complete games that are sort of learning elements so you can see how a project is actually put together from start to finish. We also have tutorials that sort of link into that and teach you how to make it from start to finish. Okay, and do you have any other kind of tutorials as well? So we also have our Learn site which features all our video tutorials that we've made. Um, this is the interface overview which is a great place to start if you're completely fresh with Unity and you need to learn where, what all the panels are, what they're called because we go in and reference them later in more advanced tutorials. We also have live training so every so often we'll have people that will do a webcast and where you can ask questions live, they'll be teaching you live. These are also recorded as well, so you can watch them later so you don't miss out. Awesome. So, say I hit a problem while I'm trying to develop my game, where do I go, what do I do? So the greatest place to go is our community site. We have a huge number of users that can help you out with any problem, and usually they're quite experienced, so if you have a problem, chances are they've already come across that problem and solved it themselves. I wanted to find out what types of games young game designers should start out with. So Aurora and I got down to what we do best. No! <laughs> I'm taking you out like the trash. <laughs> You're unconscious again! <laughs> I'm stuck! So if you were making your first game, is there any kind of um, game genre that you would recommend starting with, like a platformer or a shooter or anything like that? Basically think as simple as you can. Um, Anything that's like platformery, maybe top-down shooter, to twin stick style, that could be a good thing to start with. But don't think about having the most fanciest graphics. Start simple and then work your way up from there. Mm. And is there any sort of platform you'd recommend starting building for? Um, like PC, Xbox, PlayStation, anything like that? I'd recommend the simplest thing to start for is target um, Windows, uh, PCs and Mac as well. Uh, we've got tons and tons of deployment options, but it's definitely simplest to start with the basics of PC and Mac. Like that. There you go. <laughs> oh, would you have to punch me while you're walking me around? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're a community manager. What is a community manager? I basically take all the feedback that the community give us about the engine and any problems they might have, any bugs. I feed it back to the company and then we can fix issues and make the engine better, as well as I communicate stuff that we want to communicate to the community. Mm. So if someone wanted to get into the games industry, where would you recommend they started? I would recommend starting to learn like how a game is put together, maybe start dabbling in Unity um, and then figure out kind of what you want to do whether it's programming or art and what you're best at. <laughs> Stop knocking me out! <laughs> That's all I'm going to end up doing. Stop punching me! <laughs> so what's the best thing about working in the games industry? Um, it's, it's a lot of fun and there's some great people in the industry with like-minded people and we get to play games legitimately. Yeah, <laughs> like right now. Like what? right now. You and me. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> oh. 
I like how the light just <laughs> yeah, 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 shone on us yeah. right before our demise.